I'm just kind of playing a little, um, creating a little video here. So I uploaded my music like I had showed you in the in the um, in my um, uh, this piece here, where to find it, click the upload button, and so forth. So now I'm in my drive, and here's my music, and I got all these different music files, and you know I can kind of go through them real quickly. You know, there's a you know these music files. Okay, they're all in there. So if I want to play one of them, I simply um, open up one of the music files, or if I double click that, um, it's gonna ask me what do I wanna play it with. So instead, what I've done is I've taken this music player, dryplayer.com, I put a link to that right over here on your um, um, presentation. If I click that, it opens up music player, okay? But I already had one of those open. So when I'm in music player, if I want to add audio files and then create playlists, I just click add, add my audio files. It's showing all my audio files that I've got in here. I've got this funny thing where that dot underscore, um, that's because it was on a Mac. So let's say I you know, want to play this one and then I can hold down a control or a, 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 spa a, a space key or shift key and select multiple ones. Say I want to create um, you know, this one and this one Oh, not that one because it's got the dot underscore that one and so forth you know I do that okay I select those songs now that is basically showing up as um, and it's gonna start playing for me um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the playing so there's my little music player I'm gonna create a playlist out of that and I give it a name and I call it Kelsey demo that's the name of my playlist okay go ahead and stop that now, where that got saved, this Kelsey demo playlist, is back here on my drive, at the very bottom of my drive amongst other things. Well, maybe it's going to be at the top. There's Kelsey demo. That's the playlist. I'm going to move that back into my music folder. And now, in my music folder, I have all of my folders and all my files, and um, I have all my playlists in here. So let's say that I come back to this music player and I I go ahead and um, I go ahead and uh, close that I want to unpin that tab right then and close it so I don't have that tab anymore so then I go to my drive and I find Kelsey demo and I double click it it says hey what do you, you can't do that so you want to play that with music player so it comes up and there's my playlist ready to rock ready to roll okay and I can have all these different playlists in my drive and right click on them, that's two fingers on your Chromebook, and open with music player. And any one of my playlists I could actually have set up to play. One of the things I like to do also is right click and on your Chromebook that's two fingers and a click. And I want to pin that tab so now always my music, my drive player shows up there. The only thing I don't like about this, maybe less intuitive and you know not as easy as iTunes, is the ability to um, go ahead and like from in from within here to open a playlist. I don't seem to have I don't seem to have that ability to open a playlist. So that that kind of sucks in terms of being able to do that. You have to come back over to your drive, choose your playlist, open it up. In, so if I did that, here's another playlist. This is a, a different playlist, uh, and I open it with the music player. So now I have this music player with this Kelsey demo playlist. Um, that's Kelsey demo, and I have another playlist loading up here, a different playlist. And all these would be playing and happening on, on my Chromebook, and if I was running that off to a good sound system, I just find that I could play this, I could play it off my phone, in any of those things anywhere I'm at. Um, add the auto files, audio files, create the playlist. The playlist gets saved back in the drive. Um, and it actually gets saved out here at the root of my drive and then I, I go ahead and move them into music. I could just as easily, well here's, here's another way to do this. I'm going to create a new folder in here called playlists. Okay, Create that folder and then I'm going to go into my music folder and I'm going to grab all my playlists from here to there, holding down the shift key to do that, I'm going to move to, and I'm going to move that to playlists. And then rather than having to look around into the music folder, the music folder just sits there, I go to my drive, there's my playlists, 
I can open up any playlist. Um, well, I don't like that double click, so right click, open with music player, and then open uh, a new music player list with um, a couple of different songs on it. And, and you know, basically it's, it's totally doable, it's just really different than what you're used to in, in iTunes.